And Happy New Year to you all and welcome to year 2024. Praise God. God has been good to us. God has been so merciful to us. Amen. Praise God. It's only because of the goodness and the mercies of our Heavenly Father that we were able to step into this great and glorious year. And God has great things in store for all of us. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And I trust that as you've entered this glorious year of 2024, that you are hungering and thirsting after righteousness. Amen. Praise God. You know, we cannot really accomplish much or be successful in our Christian walk unless we seek he first, the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And we know that all things shall be added unto us in the name of the Lord. Amen. So, of course, at the beginning of every year, we want to start off the year right. Amen. Hallelujah. We all want to receive maximum results and the highest level obtainable in all areas of our life. Amen. And so today we're going to look at one vital key in order to do just that. Amen. Before that, let's pray. Mighty Heavenly Father, we are thanking you. We are giving you the praise. We are giving you all the glory, Heavenly Father. We are testifying that you are good and that your mercies then endure forever. Thank you, Lord, for a brand new day. Heavenly Father, thank you for a brand new year in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the Holy Spirit and I submit every single area of my life and this message into his divine hands. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome. And Heavenly Father, thank you for the precious blood of Jesus that continues to prevail. Let it prevail right now, Heavenly Father, over this message, over every listening ear in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Over a thousand tongues to sing our great Redeemer's praise. Take all the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And to appreciate what I'm about to say, praise God, we have to just have a, a mindset or you may, may, may be changing your mindset as I give this message in the name of Jesus, praise God. And, you know, so often time with our relationship with our Heavenly Father, we see our God who is the provider, who gives us all things. We see ourselves receiving from him all the time. But, you know, our walk with our Heavenly Father is not just receiving, but it's also giving, giving unto our Heavenly Father. In fact, the psalmist declares in Psalm 34, verse 1, that I will bless the Lord at all times. Why? That his praises will be in my mouth. Amen. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together amen so god he loves us to give him thanks and to give him praise and to adore his holy name at all times continually in the name of jesus amen and you know during our crossover service uh we had an awesome time god's presence was there amen it was such a blessing and we had a wonderful prophetic utterance through our man of God by the Holy Spirit and the Lord said to us this is a year of milk and honey this is a year of of recognition acknowledgement and um a year of so many blessings so God has prepared the way for us all to be blessed and to be blessed exceeding and abundantly amen to increase more and more throughout this year praise the lord amen and so we're thanking god for the great things he has in store for us amen as i said before god said that we would be acknowledged and less than 24 hours one of our members sent a lovely text to me i'm just going to read part of it for the glory of god and she said good afternoon pastor sandrine thank you so much I have always said to you that you are a great woman of God. I also want to thank you for all your prayers for me and my family, especially when my health was attacked by the devil or whenever I'm going through difficulties. 
I cannot count them. You have always been there for me and my family. I cannot repay. I cannot repay you, but only God Almighty can. Praise the Lord. Amen. All for the glory must be to our Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is good and his mercies then you forever and ever. And I thank God, amen, for this member, for her kind words and taking the time to acknowledge me, taking the time, you know, to, to show that she's grateful, amen. And so we, in turn, we have to take the time um, to, to thank our God, to acknowledge our God for his goodness, for his mercy in all our lives, amen, praise God. And I personally just want to say thank you, Heavenly Father, for all you've done for me throughout year 2023, me and my family near and far, and my ministry in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, amen and amen. So it really is a good thing to give thanks unto our Heavenly Father, to thank God for his faithfulness every night, amen, to thank him for his goodness every morning, amen. It's by the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed. Amen. His steadfast love, his faithless, his mercy, they are always new every morning. Every morning when we awake, we have a fresh grace on our side. We have a fresh grace accompanying us every day. Goodness and mercies. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are reminded in scripture in Psalm 100 verses 4 and 5. It reads, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? For the Lord is good. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations no generation is actually left out amen so we can see here that god has given us a protocol to enter into this year amen we enter into this year with thanksgiving and praise and adoration unto our heavenly father and you know when we do that we will see the effects the ripple effects so to speak evident in all our lives god will crown our lives with his glory his honor and his splendor amen throughout the bible we are encouraged to pay homage to our lord hallelujah psalm 29 verses 1 and 2 reads give hallelujah give unto the lord all ye mighty give unto the lord glory and strength give unto the lord the glory due unto his name worship the lord in the beauty of holiness we are commanded to give god thanks we are encouraged to give God thanks. We are commanded to give God all the glory and all the strength. Amen. Which is, which is, of course, referring. It's referring to thanksgiving, praise and worship. Amen. So today, my teaching is entitled, God blesses grateful hearts. God blesses grateful hearts. And I want to identify um, and look at some a list of short benefits and blessings we obtain from God when we accompany our lives, our prayer lives, amen, our daily walk uh, with thanksgiving, when we return unto our Heavenly Father with thanksgiving, amen. And I just want to read from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verses 1 through 8. I'm reading from the Good News Translation. Amen. And um, this is entitled in this particular Bible, The Blessings of Obedience. Amen. It begins. If you obey the Lord, your God, and faithfully keep all his commandments that I am giving you today, he will make you greater than any other nation on the earth. Obey the Lord, your God, and all these blessings will be yours. Thank you, Father. The Lord will bless your towns and your fields. The Lord will bless you with many children, with abundant crops and with many cattle and sheep. The Lord will bless your grain crops and the food you prepare from them. The Lord will bless everything you do. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will defeat your enemies when they attack you. They will attack 
from one direction, but they will run in all directions. They will run from you in all directions. The Lord your God will bless your work and fill your barns with grain. That's your bank account. He will bless you in the land, hallelujah, that he is giving you, the land of milk and honey. The Lord is telling us here that as we are obedient, he's going to bless everything that we do. The enemies will not be able to triumph over us at all. The enemies shall be scattered. The enemies of lack, the enemy of sickness, the enemy of, of, of um, trials and temptations, they'll be submitted unto the mighty hand of our Heavenly Father. In fact, they shall run away as in terror when we give God praise and give him all the glory, when we thank our Lord with a grateful heart, hallelujah. So we see this vital key of entering year 2024. We enter acknowledging our Heavenly Father. We enter, amen, thanking our Lord, amen, not just because we're entered now in year 2024, but we're thanking God for year 2023 and for everything that he has done in our lives. Amen. We begin this year with thanksgiving, and of course, we're going to end this year with thanksgiving, of course. Amen. It's by the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed, so we have so much to give God thanks and praise for. Amen. So God, he promised us to bless us. Amen. He promised us in his word that if we take heed to his instructions, he's going to bless our lives. Amen. You see, the blessings of the Most High God, they are not automatic. Amen. We have to use the fruits of our lips to give God thanks and praise and to confess his goodness night and day. God is faithful. Amen. Now, in studying the Bible, one can see that gratitude, amen, is a key thing, is an important thing to our Heavenly Father. Gratitude, amen, is something that we have to uh, cultivate in our lives. We have to have the mindset of really thanking our God and, and fact, in thanking people around us as well. Thanking God should be a constant lifestyle, amen. You see, when we thank God, God responds to us in a great way. Praise the Lord. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. It says, in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God that this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. We know that the will of God, the commandments of God, they're not grievous. Amen. And God is saying to us, amen, no matter what the situation is, you give thanks, amen. You give thanks no matter what you may be going through right now, you give thanks. You're not thanking God, you know, for the difficult situation. You're thanking God in the midst of the difficult situation. And you're acknowledging the mighty hand of our Heavenly Father who will never, ever fail you, amen. You are blessing the Lord at all times. You are saying, Lord, you are good. You are great. You are the sufficient one. You are my El Shaddai. There's nothing too hard for you, Heavenly Father. There's nothing impossible with you. You are the everlasting one. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending. And I place my trust in you at all times. I am acknowledging you in this situation. Hallelujah. And as we do so, God will make a way where there appears to be no way in the name of Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. God will do the impossible. So, and, and in, in a situation that we'll be going through, we can see that the, the possibility, we can see that the road is clear because we are acknowledging our Heavenly Father who will never leave us or will never forsake us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we can see that. And this scripture here, in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful. Amen. So there's no loophole here at all. God is going to bless us in every area of our lives as we give God thanks. Amen. 
This is the will of God for you and me, praise the Lord, concerning us in Christ Jesus. God's will for your life is that you are always grateful and that you give thanks with a grateful heart, no matter what the circumstances or situation is. Amen. You may be facing a situation right now, but I'm telling you, I want to encourage you right now. Learn to serve the Lord. Amen. With thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. God can never fail. He can do everything. Thing but fail. He has never lost a battle. He will never fail. God always has the final say. Amen. And we serve a God who is bigger than any situation that we will ever face. We can live with confidence knowing that God is in control as we allow him to be in control. Amen. Now, when God wants us to do the right thing, he always attaches a benefit or a blessing to it amen because he knows that when we take heed to his commandments the outcome is that we in turn is going to be blessed amen you know having a mindset of gratitude yields great great return it yields great great blessings amen and you know scientifically as well as biblically there are great returns amen let's look at a few bullet points that I put down, praise God. We're looking at the benefits of a grateful heart. Number one, gratitude improves our brain and our physical health. And according to scientific research, gratitude is a healthy emotion. It improves our brain and it improves, once again, our physical health. It is good for our emotions, our intellect, amen. We have to really ensure that we are living a life of gratitude, praise God, because it does it does so much for us, so much for our physical body. Amen. And I want to add it does for us spirit, soul and body, not just the body as well for the glory of God. Number two, gratitude creates joy as well. Of course, when we give God thanks, amen, that cheerfulness in our heart and our spirit will just begin to overflow. There's going to be a natural joy there. On Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22 reads, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, amen, but a broken spirit dries, it dries the bones, so a merry heart, a cheerful heart, a joyful heart, it does good just like a natural medicine. In fact, really, giving God thanks, giving God praise with a grateful heart, with a cheerful heart is medicine in itself. Amen. Number three, gratitude helps us to sleep better. Proverbs chapter three, verse 24, it says, when thou liest down, Thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everybody, after a long day, after we've done so much throughout the day, we want to ensure that we have a restful and a peaceful night. Amen. We want to ensure that our sleep is rest and sleep in itself of course, it is a medicine. It rejuvenates the body as well. Praise the Lord. So sleep is important. Praise the Lord. So going on to number four, gratitude is the antidote to toxic emotions. In other words, it defeats emotions like worry and depression. Philippines chapter four, verse six reads, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god amen so you can't be grateful and worry at the same time you can't be grateful and fear at the same time amen they cannot occupy the same position praise the lord so we have to ensure that we have a grateful heart unto our heavenly father and also thank god for those people who around around us who bless us as well. Number five, it improves our fellowship with God. Second Corinthians chapter nine verse six. This is usually talking about giving or finances. 
what we read earlier on in uh, Psalm 29, verse 1, that we should give unto the Lord, amen, glory and strength. So this reads the latter half of this great scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, for God loves a cheerful giver. So we're giving unto our heavenly father, thanksgiving and adoration, because God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Number six, gratitude opens the door to the blessings of God. Amen. Psalm 67 Verses 5 through 7 reads, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. And all the ends of the Lord shall fear him. Amen. All the ends of the earth shall honor him. All the ends of the earth shall give him reverential fear. And it's through us, as we acknowledge our Heavenly Father, amen, God is going to get the recognition. God is going to get the glory. And when we really are sincere with our thanksgiving, God will bless us in return, amen. God will bless us in a land filled with milk and honey. Praise the Lord. And Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15 reads, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Continually, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks. Hallelujah to his name, to his great name. God inhabits the praises of his people. And he releases the blessing when we acknowledge the mighty, majestic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That great name. So with these verses combined, we can see that God wants, amen, gratitude to be a primary motivation behind everything that we do and say and think. Amen. Praise God. We've entered a new year and I've given you a list of things whereby we can actually know and acknowledge that we have to give thanks to our Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. And so we have to pause and be reflective, amen, of God's goodness and his mercy that has enabled us to be here today to see another year. And therefore giving thanks to our Heavenly Father is so necessary because we didn't cross over this year, 2024, on our own abilities, amen. It was God who enabled us to see another year. Psalm 3 verse 5 reads, I laid me down and slept. I awakened for the Lord sustained me. It was the Lord. It's the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. The Lord is our sustainer. The Lord is our protector. The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our helper. The Lord is our mighty great shepherd. Hallelujah. So we ought to give him thanks. Amen. God commands us to give thanks. Amen. And his commandments are not grievous. Giving thanks to him is acknowledging the loving kindness and, and faithfulness of our Heavenly Father. It is vital to receive the blessing of the Most High God throughout this year. Amen. Let's look at some scriptures pertaining to us giving God thanks and adoration. Amen. Psalm 30 verse 1 reads, I will extol thee, O Lord, that thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19 reads, and out of them, you and I, hallelujah, shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry, hallelujah. And God says, I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. So we can see here contained in this very scripture, God is going to multiply everything that pertains unto us. Amen. Our blessings, our businesses. Our ministry, this uh, last year, we had numerous newcomers that came in, praise God, as we offered up to our Heavenly Father the sacrifice of thanksgiving and praise unto our Heavenly Father. So God expects us to return, amen, with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God expects us to have a grateful, sincere, grateful heart. So we've learned, amen, today from the Bible that God wants us to be that one 
that returns with thanksgiving. We're given the example in Luke 17 that the 10 lepers, only one came to give God thanks. You know, other, the other nine, they were, they came for healing and they received their healing. But one came back to Jesus and said, thank you, my Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And what happened? He was made whole in every area of his life. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I prophesy to you right now that as you return to give God thanks and praise throughout this year, there'll be nothing missing, nothing broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you will obtain all that God has written down for you throughout this year in the name of Jesus. You will be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. No weapon form against you can prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is about to do great things for you. Your life is crowned with glory and honor. Good health and strength and vitality is your portion in the name of Jesus. Learn to bless the Lord at all times. Amen. Gratitude, amen, is a key to receiving the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, praise God. Our God is good. God bless you, God bless you.